Hey guys, welcome to BalsaCircle.com where we do decorations for weddings and special events. And today, if you have a special Valentine event or you have someone special in your life, we are doing a DIY paper flower corsage. You can give it to your teacher or you can give it to your grandmother, whoever you want to have a little bit of Valentine pizzazz. We have got your back, girlfriend. So we're gonna be using a corsage wristlet, some flowers, some uh, ribbon, and a lot more. So let's just get started. Here we're using for our very first layer, we're gonna be doing some leaves of the corsage. Now we're gonna be using, um, as you know, in our last few tutorials, we've been using this glittery craft foam that comes in pinks and silvers and reds, and we're using a red for this one. Here is our corsage wristlet that we're using. Now it's gonna come with kind of like these prongs on the side, and that's to hold fresh flowers. You don't need it for this one because we're not using fresh flowers. So so we don't need that um, that extra uh, kind of platform there. So we're just folding them in and then gluing on the nice leaves here. Now, as you can see with the leaves, they don't have to be the same size. Actually, it's probably preferred just to give a little bit of character that they're all a little bit different to make the corsage look unique. And here we're moving on to basically cutting three little snippets of wire. These don't have to be any specific size, just enough to um, create a bow. You have the beginning of the ribbon on the bottom, and then you're making kind of two of the bunny ears. <laughs> on the top. Now with this actual bow, we're using our red organza satin edge ribbon here. So we're just bringing it over, securing it with some of that craft wire and twizzling it, making sure it stays in place. And what's great about this wire too, and also when you secure it, of course, with the glue, is it's not like a package where when you transport it, all the ribbon kind of gets funky and messed up. Here, you can put it exactly into place how you want it to look. So we're just twizzling it once again when you fold it over and securing it into place and clipping off the extra edges there. Now, once that is done, we're gonna be going on to a couple of other ribbons. We're gonna be doing three different bows. So this is the very first one and we want it to kind of incorporate uh, a little bit of print and also uh, texture here. So here we're kind of using like a, it's almost like a burlap with some print. And we're doing the same kind of thing, making those bows. But with this one, as you can see, we kind of uh, fold it over or under to make sure all the print is facing one side. I don't know about you, but any time in the past where I've done kind of like Christmas presents or some kind of birthday present and the bow has print on it and it can't get all the print to face one side, you can always do it with some wire here and make sure that you fold it under so all the print is facing one way. So that's a little hack there. That's what's great with wire, because you can do, you can just make it stay in place. <laughs> so here we're just doing a little bit uh, of a different design with the, uh, the edges there of the ribbon, and you're securing that with obviously some wire there. You're gonna make one more of these just because we are going to be facing them different ways on the corsage, and we want the corsage to look very full all the way around, all 360, so that's why we're doing three ribbons. So here, once we're done with those, we're just taking some of our uh, red pearl sprays. I would say, you know, five or six or something, you can kind of go crazy on this if you want. And then also we're taking some of our acrylic flower heads. Now with these flower heads, for this DIY, you can use them, but they are a teeny bit heavy. So we do recommend using some silk craft flowers too if you wanna use those. It's up to you, just kind of like a side little tip. So here we're just placing all of our second layer of ribbons here or bows. So as you can see, we're kind of crisscrossing them, starting with that organza satin edge ribbon on the bottom, and then the printed ones on top. Kind of making a star with the ribbon. Now, as we put on these uh, pearl sprays next, 
I found out basically how the kind of corsage came about. Like, where did this whole corsage um, kind of tradition come from? And it's interesting because back in the 20th century, what suitors would do is they would bring the parents a bouquet of flowers and kind of like, thanks for taking out, <laughs> letting me take out your daughter. And then they would um, snip off a part of the bouquet of the flowers, obviously, and they would uh, pin it on the bodice of the girl that they were taking out. Now the bodice is basically like between the chest and the waist and they would pin it on her and then as the centuries went by or years went by, the uh, flower kind of migrated up to a girl's shoulder and then after style changed where we're you know wearing more strappy dresses or even strapless dresses that didn't really work out anymore so then the corsage migrated to a girl's wrist so that is uh, basically a little bit of history where the corsage kind of came from i thought it was really interesting how the the guy would bring the uh, the parents a uh, kind of like a thanks for letting me take her out here let me get a snippet um to, to put on her dress too because it's so cute <laughs> so there you go so here we're going to be making the next layer and this you're going to find a link in the description box below um, from the ellie blog how to simply make this flower craft paper into this beautiful flower so in the middle we thought it was really cute it looked a little bit bare so we put one of the acrylic flowers as the flower head in the middle and we're just this step is a little bit optional. You don't have to use this. If your flower is uh, not as tall or not as flat, then you can skip this step. Basically, we just took some pipe cleaner. We made a circle there, a couple of, of, of uh, rows, I guess, and we're gluing it to the bottom. And the reason why we're doing this, we wanted to give a little bit more dimension and volume here to the bottom. So our little hack was to just put a little bit of red pipe cleaner and you're not going to see it on the actual corsage this is just to make it a little bit more full and separate itself from the other layers that we did so once you fasten it on there as you can see you can't see the red pipe cleaner and uh, it looks really nice on here so there you go it is done done and done <laughs> and your corsage is so cute anyone who is just a fanatic about valentine's or just wants to just live it up that day of love this is so cute for a teacher just to show appreciation or some love or someone in a church group or any group um, this is really really cute so we hope you guys like this we definitely have one more valentine one we also showed um, a pink one the only difference is we use the same template but we just use different paper so we wanted to show you some options here what you can do so there are your two options go to town and make someone feel really loved and special on valentine's make sure you hit that like button if you found this helpful comment below and subscribe because we have one more valentine funness coming up in the next few days and you don't want to miss it this one's really great for the kids so make sure that you subscribe and we'll see you guys next time.